watching the HP ads. We are an advertising supported medium and we're proud to, to do that. And uh, I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, uh, open source research and advisory firm. And we've got a great guest. Uh, we love the services angle. Antonio Neri, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Technology Services Group. Welcome inside the Cube. Well, thank you for having me. Antonio, we love services because everyone else doesn't write about services. So we have a new publication, servicesangle.com as part of our siliconangle.com franchise. We also have a DevOps angle covering kind of the emerging developer focused. Uh, we've been covering cloud mobile and social uh, intersection of computer science and, and uh, social science for now two years, it's our hallmark. And when we launched Services Angle, no one really was doing anything covering services, but we saw through the research wikibon.org, the services business was going through some disruption. And I wanted to talk to you about that uh, here today inside the Cube and about HP, because HP's presence with the customer base is always of changing. Um, what are you seeing in the landscape in the marketplace around um, HP services innovation and the kinds of requests that you get in the services products in, from your customers? Well, uh, listen, I mean, we, we talk to a lot of customers all the time. And, uh, you know, clearly my organization server serves thousands of customers on a daily basis. So we get real-time feedback from our customers, what they like, what they don't like, and most important, what they need going forward. So as a part of this launch, right, as a part of the Converge infrastructure, we're taking the opportunity to really redefine the entire customer service experience. And we're taking advantage of the, all the innovation that have been built in the product to really provide a leading customer experience. And when we talk about the innovation, it's not just about the product itself, it's about the experience. And so with the announcement of today, what we're doing, really bringing innovation at the core and addressing true customer problems. And let me, let me bring a couple of examples. An example of, we, we hear all the time from our customers, help us automate the whole service experience. Take manual steps out of the way. You know, help me remove human errors that happens on a daily basis. So the innovations we, we, we draw with HP inside online, which is a true cloud-based IT support portal. Innovation in the serviceability of the product, the smarts, the intelligence we build in the product will allow us to really drive a true differentiated experience in an automated way and including our service partners, uh, which we call the service one, par service one partners as part of the ecosystem. So we are making a huge step forward, but make no mistake, services is, a, is the core of what we're going to do going forward because at the end of the day, services keep technology running. You know, um, we, as John said, we love the services angle. We talk to customers all the time, and I always ask a question, um, and, and, and maybe you will answer it, maybe you won't, but I'll, I'll tell you what mm -hmm. my customers say. I say, if you had 100 points to give, mm -hmm. how much would you allocate to the value chain of technology and services? And you know what they say? Take a guess. What, what, mm -hmm. I mean, I've asked this question I, I will hundreds guess it's of times. A, it's above 50. Exactly. That is the exact median. <laughs> I always, you know, some, some say 70, some yeah. say 40. I've never seen it less than 40, no. but it's always services is 50 or above. Exactly. So, uh, you're in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, and the point is, uh, Dave, is that the fact is, you know, when people look at uh, services, right, they want, you know, problems resolved faster with critical expertise. And so, you know, with the Gen 8 launch, right, what we're doing is taking an enormous amount of time out of the system. Not only we can save 90% of time in support interactions, but also we can improve the solution of that issue 66% faster than before. And because of that intelligence in the product, we can also improve the accuracy of the solution. So now we guarantee we are going to feel that we're going to guarantee a 95% first time. Fit. What's the most important metric to the customer? I presume it's time to resolution, right? It's time to resolution, it's up time. At the end of the day, what they really care is, you know, solve my problem as soon as possible because every hour that my system is down, it costs me $10 million. And, and you also said that um, Gen 8 is going to allow you to eliminate 50% of the problems before correct. they happen. Is correct. That, is that right? Well, that's correct because at the end of the day, it's all about driving preventative support. And uh, because of these smart you know, network of sensors, by the way, we have more than 1,500 active health capabilities built in the product, we can predict 
failures before it happens, and we can provide solutions before it happens. So the whole preventative self-healing capabilities are building these products. And then, you know, in the event something needs to go on site, we can automate that whole experience. In fact, we can dispatch the part before anybody even call us. So I, I have two questions. One is, how is the new technology um, changing the services uh, methodology and implementations? And two, Dave Donatelli uh, talked about